Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. So in this session, we are going to look at a real time a scenario where uh, you have got a particular, uh, maybe a transaction ID, which you need to now break it down into different parts because you need it for for the verification or you need it for different test steps which require that part of the transaction id now it's a very common scenario which everybody comes across uh, sometime or the other be uh, you are working in a banking financial application or some other application which generates some transaction id right um, so people do face this issue a, a lot of times and they don't know how to proceed with this particular problem. So I'm going to tell you how uh, to resolve this particular problem using Tosca. And you need to be aware of uh, something called regular expression, how it works and how you can form the regular expression. Also how Tosca uses the regular expression, okay? So I picked up an example and you can always relate back to your own scenario. But this is um, the scenario for us, okay? So this is the transaction ID, uh, which starts with IN and then uh, some bank uh, ID and then some number followed by another number, okay? And then we need to split this into different parts. Okay, so as you can see, this is the part one, uh, which contains uh, a static text, which is IN. It will always remain the same. Then uh, part two is um, some text, okay, which comes before any particular number, okay, which, so any text, it, it could be any number of characters, not only four characters, but any number of characters which comes before the numeric part, okay. Then the part three, uh, which is of three digit number, okay, so we need to uh, specifically extract it as a three digit number and then the remaining part of that particular text. Okay, so whatever number is after this three digits, we need to put it into part four. Okay, so these are all the different uh, parts uh, which we need to split from this particular transaction ID. Okay, and that is the requirement. Um, so how can you do this? So as I said, we need to use regular expression here. And uh, in Tosca, uh, you can use regular expression with something called named groups, okay? So in this, uh, you will have a buffer name and a sub expression. So that buffer name, uh, it is the name of the buffer which will store the dynamic part of the comparison. And the sub expression would define the dynamic part which should be buffered, okay? So this uh, you will understand more when we go ahead and uh, implement this into a test case, right? So uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's go to test cases section. Here uh, we will create another test case and we will call it regex for now, okay? Here um, I will say split transaction Okay, and then um, we will first use the T box set buffer. Okay, and we will call this trans. Okay, and then here uh, we will store this particular transaction ID. Okay, and now uh, we need to create different buffers as you can see here, right? So now we have to use uh, the same buffer name, but with a regex verification, right? So here again on the buffer name, we are going to use trans and here we are going to write the regex expression, okay? So it's a little long regex expression. So I will try to explain what it is and how you have formed this, okay? So here, uh, first, we need to use the regex expression, okay? And as you can see here, this is uh, the description provided. And if you look at the last part, which is extracting text using regular expressions, you will see this is the syntax, 
Okay, so regex, then expression, then the group, which is uh, so buffer name, and then sub expression, and then expression, right? And so this first part is the static part, then the buffer name. Okay, so this is the name for the buffer to which dynamic part of the comparison is saved. And then the sub expression, this is the dynamic part should be buffered, right? There's an example also given here. Um, and the expression verifies if the text uh, label matches the pattern, right? So uh, this is how it should be done. Um, any particular scenario where you have to uh, do this, you have to use extracting text using regular expressions, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and form this regular expression now. So we'll start with regex, okay? Now inside this, uh, we are going to have four different parts, right? So we'll start with the first part here, which is called the part one, okay? You can give any particular name to this buffer. Uh, it doesn't matter. Now, this is the sub expression, okay? But uh, this is static always. So we have written in here because it will not change, okay? Now we'll close this. And we will now form the second part, which is the part two. Okay, we'll save it in part two. Now here uh, we have got a couple of characters, right? So here we will be using um, some regular expression like A to Z. And then I will use the regular expression star, which means uh, any text, any particular text with any number of characters, it will be able to identify that, okay? Now the next part is the three digit number, which I mean to extract, right? So we'll form this again, and we will name this part three. Okay, and here uh, we'll be using some other regular expression, which will extract our digits. Okay, so we'll use slash D, and then we require just uh, three digits from here, right? So we'll specify that so that it extracts only three digits. So now uh, we come to the last part and here we will name it part four, okay? And this uh, will be the remaining uh, digits in the ID, right? So uh, here again, we will use slash T, okay? And then we will use star so that it can extract any number of digits, okay? Then we will close this. And here, actually, we don't require this square brackets. So I'll remove this. Okay, so this is our regular expression, which has got four parts. You can see four different buffers. So it will extract each part uh, from the regular expression, and then it will store it into these four different buffers. Okay, so now uh, let's go ahead and change the work state to complete it. And let's try and execute this now. Okay, um, you will get this particular error, okay, if you have not changed the action mode. Okay, so it will say it has to be an input value. So what you need to do here is you need to change this action mode to verify. Okay, so whenever uh, you are using regex to extract text, it has to be uh, the action mode verify. So let's go ahead and try this again. Okay, so this time around it will pass. And now we need to verify whether these buffers have the correct value or not. Okay, so that can be done using this buffer viewer. If you go into tools, you will find this particular tool which contains all the buffers uh, which we have created, okay? And if I go here, I can also search my buffers. So I will search with part and it will give me all the different buffer names which start with part, okay? And you can see here, so part one contains the IN value, part two contains uh, the four uh, banking abbreviation, and part three contains the three digits and part four contains the remaining digits, okay? So this is how you can extract different uh, text or different values from 
your buffer and store it in different buffers. Now, this could be useful for verification purpose or it could be used uh, for different test steps, okay? So it's a very useful um, expression, the regex expression, and it's a very powerful expression, okay? So whenever you want to extract text or you want to verify certain part of the text, especially when this particular value in, is dynamic in nature, okay? Or the parts of the values are dynamic in nature. In these type of scenarios, you should be using the regex expression. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.